Hello, my name's Graham, callsign G4VUX, and in this video I'll demonstrate a user-defined scanning function within the Yesu FT817. When I say user-defined, I mean that we choose the frequency limits of the scan. This can be very useful when a band such as 6 meters is quiet, but we don't want to manually tune around for hours waiting for an opening. The rig can be left to scan a small section of the band indefinitely, while we do other things around the shack. As soon as the band opens and the station comes up, we'll hear it, and we can try for a QSO. The sequence is simple, but you may wish to pause this video as you work through it for the first time. So turn on the radio, and if you see the battery voltage displayed in the top left corner of the screen. Uh, press the function key, the F key, rotate the cell knob to get to menu, I think it's menu 11, VLT on button B. Just turn that off. That'll put us into VFO mode. Uh, it may go into memory mode. If it does, just press the MV button here to get into VFO mode. The next thing we have to do is to decide which band we're going to scan and which um, mode we want to use. I'm going to scan the bottom 100 kilohertz of 6 meters. So I'm going to set to 50 megs, 6 meters. And I'm going to set it to CW, which is my preferred mode. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is to set the start frequency of my scan range with the cell knob. So I'll adjust this for 50 megs precisely. And there it is. Right, the next thing we have to do is to write this into a specific memory. So press the F button, the F key. Rotate the knob to get MW on the bottom line there, on the left-hand corner. MW, memory right. OK. Now press MW once briefly. OK, and then rot rotate the cell knob again to find MW-PL. That's Program Low Limit. And then hold that for a full second. VFOA comes back up again, you see. And then we're going to set the high limit. So let's set this up to 50.1 mix. And we're going to press this button again. And we're going to write this MW, brief press, MWPU, MW program upper. Hold the button for a full second. VFOA comes back up again. OK, we've now set the lower and upper scan limits for our desired scan. The next thing that we have to do is to press the F key and rotate this until we see PMS. There it is, PMS on the right. That's Programmable Memory Scan. Just press that once and the word, sorry, the letters PMS appear on the top of the screen. That means that we're now no longer in VFO mode. We're in programmable memory scan mode. And finally, well, nearly finally, we rotate. We press the F key again and we find a menu called, called scan. I think it's scan. SCN. SCN, scan. There she is. Press button A. And that's it. It's scanning. And it will continue to scan forever and ever, <laughs> as long as power is applied. OK, and that's just keep doing that. It'll take about 100 seconds um, to get up to the full 100 kilohertz, and then it'll loop round again. Um, when you've finished scanning, you simply have to press scan again to stop it, SCN to stop it. And then you want to come out of PMS and back into VFO, so press the function button and find 
PMS on the right, just press that back into VFO mode. And now you're no longer set to scan anything. You can go wherever you like. You're in VFO mode. And if you want the battery voltage back up on the top left of the screen there, press the function button and rotate this until you see the VLT. There it is. Press that button B and there's your 13.8 volts. All pretty straightforward. Any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to answer if I can. Thanks for watching. 73, good DX. Bye-bye.